Hello and welcome to the Jackson County Middle School IMAC Lab. The first thing that you might notice that's different about an IMAC is that all of the icons are on the bottom of the screen. This is called the dock. The first program that I want to show you all to use is Finder. Yes, there are some programs at the bottom, but every single program that is on the computer will be listed under Finder. You'll click on Finder and then you'll scroll down to Places and then click Applications. And there, all of the programs that are on the computer, that's where they will be. The next program is the Mail program. Um, you can set up an email account through that and send emails back and forth to your friends. Now there is an icon that looks exactly like a compass. This is Safari. And Safari is just another word for internet. And next to it, you will find iTunes. I know you all have used that. Um, so you all should know that you can download music and put music onto your iPod through that. And next, directly next to iTunes is iPhoto. And iPhoto is a photo editing system. And on movie, you can put video clips together and put pictures in the videos and make a video. And next to iMovie, there is GarageBand. And GarageBand, you get to make your own songs. And then System Preferences. Um, you can fix your doc and accounts. And that is it for the iMac dock. Now, the next thing that you may notice about a Mac is the fact that there isn't necessarily a Word program on the dock. And I want to show you how to get to that. Once again, you will click on Finder, just scroll down to Places, you'll see Desktop, your username, Applications, and then Documents. And you'll click on that, and there will all of your documents. That's where they should be. Now the next program that I'm going to show you all how to use is iCal. Um, it's basically a calendar and all you do is you just click on there, click on a certain time, double click new event, and then you type in the event and click if it's all day or if it's a work event. Um, so if you have a Mac you'll probably use this a lot. Now internet on an iMac, you'll notice that the screen is a little small. I'm going to show you all how to make that bigger. Right in the bottom right hand corner, you will see three diagonal lines. All you do, you just click on those, pull and drag, and that makes your screen bigger. If you're like me, you love an awesome desktop background, don't you? Well, on a Mac, it's a little bit more difficult to know how to do that. So once again, you just click on System Preferences, scroll up to Personal. You'll see Appearance and then Desktop and Screensaver. You click on that, and then you can change your desktop background. Okay, now I'm going to show you the little apple. Similar to the Start button on a Windows, we have an Apple on an iMac. So you can click on this, and that is how you can log out. And we also used iMovie to make this exact video that you are watching right now. It has four pins and an erase. This is a pin, and this is the erase. To a PC and an iMac computer. You use a USB cable to hook those up. Here's your new smart board. You need to calibrate it. You calibrate it by pushing these two buttons on the smart board. To calibrate your smart board, you need to press the yellow dot and the red cross. I want to demonstrate three for you. This is the menu bar. You can get all different tools. Here is a cursor and a marker and a highlighter and eraser and some more tools. 
Here is the cursor. It highlights, and you can click on stuff just like a mouse. And the marker is used to underline information and circle information. Here's the highlighter. You can highlight information that's important. Um, the eraser is, you can get in all sizes like small, medium, or large. Here is large. Bye. This tool that we are going to learn about is the keyboard. You can simply access it by just tapping. And then you want to tap this so you can make sure that it appears. And then you just simply go to start. And then you're done. Jackson County Middle School STLP members hope that this movie has been informative and helpful to you. We hope to see you next time. Thank you. Hi, my name is Matthew Singleton, and I am a reporter for Jackson County Middle School STLP group. And I am going to show you a little bit about our ladybug. Now, you, I know you may be giving me a weird look right now, but our ladybug is a document camera. It's not the ladybug that flies around, it's a documentation camera. And I'm going to show you some of the buttons on the panels. Okay, right here, this is source. All right, and then we got power. This is probably your most important button. And this one is lamp. Let's turn your lamp on and off. And this one is auto tune. This one is zoom in, that makes your image bigger. This one is zoom out, which makes your image smaller. This one is bright. It makes your image brighter if you need it brighter. And this one, it darkens your image. You simply turn lamp, turn your lamps off. See, you can read it now somewhat. All right, and let's turn your lamps back on. All right, when I first, when I, all right, when I ended, I was telling you about how source you can switch to your computer and different things. Well, I am going to show you how. Let's say you had a PowerPoint about pilgrims like I have. Let's say you had one about that that you wanted to show your class. All you would do, you would hit um, slideshow, and you would hit from beginning. And see, you can see, you can see the PowerPoint. This, this is so much helpful, helpful than trying to go into a computer lab and leaving your classroom. You can do it right here in your classroom, and you can show all slides of your PowerPoint. See? I mean, uh, this, uh, it's so helpful. All you, can, you can show your whole PowerPoint. It ha helps. At, like, all right? Let's say at the end of the quiz. All right, let's say at the end of your PowerPoint, you wanted to do... A quiz. All right. So you would hit source, and let's say, uh, well, that's see, that's back at our pictures. That's where we left our picture at. So you would hit delete because we don't need that picture no more. We want to do our quiz, and you can see I got a quiz here. All right, and I'm going to get me a pen, and I'm going to write. I'm going to write some questions. Where you can't use that pen. That's a smart work pen. All right, I'm going to get a pen, and I'm going to write some questions. Where did the pilgrims come from? And you can you can have like you can make it an open response, or you can make it a multiple choice answer. But you see how hard that is to see. I done that on purpose because I um, I was wanting to show you how you zoom in and you can help focus. That leads me to auto tune. All you do is simply press auto tone and it should process your image where you can read it. And if it's not, you might have to adjust it yourself. But this time I got lucky and it did help me out just a little bit. But if I turn my lamps off and I hit auto tone again, because the lamps is only for 3D images, if I hit auto tone again, you can read it. Where did the pilgrims grow? But see, it's still processing trying to make it better. It kind of makes you dizzy. You can still see where did the pilgrims come from. You can still read that. All right, and this concludes my broadcast about our ladybug and how we use it, and I hope you'd enjoy it. Thank you. The Jackson County Middle School STLP members hope that this movie has been informative and helpful to you. We hope to see you next time. Thank you.